so for this project you're going to need a set of watercolor paints at least one or two paint brushes only one is required um, a black sharpie i like to just use the normal sharpie not the super thin one i think it works a little better um, a paper towel or a towel in case you need to mop up any um, spills I have a glass of water to use with the watercolors as well as a plain sheet of white paper. If you have um, watercolor or art paper, that would be better. I just had this white plain piece of paper and it worked just fine. And then some kind of scratch piece of paper to go behind the back so it doesn't bleed through. So next up, we're just gonna take this black Sharpie and you're gonna do any kind of drawing you want. So the premise of this is that we draw um, a silhouette or some kind of design with a black Sharpie and then we're gonna paint over it later. So you're gonna to wanna to do all your Sharpie drawings before you start painting. I decided to do a sun in the corner of mine just because I thought it'd be fun and something I decided to add were these dots here. Um, I find that when working with Sharpie, sometimes it can look a little plain and just adding some dots here and there can really elevate your artwork and make it look a little bit um, more intricate. So I decided to do that, but that's you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I know a lot of you guys are so creative um, and so you will come up with even more creative things than dots. And then I also decided to just do a few flowers um, you can do whatever you want for yours. You can do mountains, you can do your dog, you can do a self-portrait, whatever you think you want to do. Um, I decided just to use Sharpie right off the bat, but if you want to use pencil first and then trace it with Sharpie, you are welcome to do that as well. So here I am just drawing some petals for my flowers, and that's what I decided to do for the main part of my artwork. So then I thought mine looked a little plain, so I decided to add this squiggly line to draw some just kind of leaves or um, kind of like a little vine. So all I did was draw a squiggly line and then drew um, petals on each side. So if you want to imitate this look yourself, all you have to do is draw a petal on the left, alternate, draw a petal on the right as you move down the line. So just do one on every other side until you get to the bottom like this. And then I decided to do some lines on mine. Um, and just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, you can color them in, you can leave them plain, um, but this is what I decided to do. So then I got out my watercolors. I decided to stick to red, orange, and yellow, but you could use any colors that you like. Um, and I decided to just go ahead and start painting from the top. So my goal for this was to kind of look like a sunset. You can do whatever you'd like, but as you see, I started with the red and then I worked in the orange. If you want to make sure the colors fade well together and they don't just look like stripes, what I've been doing as I transition to the next color, notice how I'm adding water and I'm also dragging that yellow up into the orange as I go. I'm not just sticking to the bottom. And so that way the colors kind of blend together. After that, I went back to orange. Instead of um, going to red, I went back to orange So those, because uh, I thought those colors faded really well together. And then after this orange, I made it a little darker at the bottom before I faded back into red. So you can play around with this. If you think it looks too dark, just add water and it'll thin out. I know you guys have used watercolor before. Um, so that's what I decided to do. This is how my final project turned out, but I'm really excited to see if any of you guys decide to do this at home. Please post the picture on the Padlet so we can see it, um, and I'm really excited to see those. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!